In this video, we're going to tell you seven reasons why most people can't handle a Caracal cat. You've maybe seen the rise of these cats on social media. They're wild, they're cool looking, they're big, but they're probably not good for you. They're a medium sized wild cat native to Africa. They're admired for their facial markings, their reddish tan coats, long legs, and large black tufted ears. If you want to bring one home and your family think it's a bad idea, well, they're probably right. Caracals, can they be dangerous? Well, they can be. Most caracals have strong opportunistic hunting instincts, which puts the safety of you, other pets, and children at risk. So in this video, we'll discover why this cat probably can't be handled by most people. The first reason is because of their size. A caracal cat is considered a small cat, but a small wild cat. There's really two categories. There's your big cats, which is your lions and your tigers. And then you've got the smaller cats in the wild, the servals, the caracals, the leopards. So they're a small cat, but they can weigh up to 40 pounds. That's quite a bit larger than most house cats. House cats are anywhere from 10, 12 pounds. But when you combine the strength, athleticism of the caracal with being 40 pounds of muscle, and you add in the hunting instincts, this is when this cat can become dangerous. So most people just cannot handle a cat like this. They're really cool looking, awesome markings, but when you have this size compared to a normal house cat, it's probably gonna be a bad combination. The second reason a caracal cat is too much for most people is because of their strength. Cats are weird. They're really flexible and strong. Usually when something's as strong as it is, it's not as flexible, but cats can move in unique ways. So when you combine the size and the strength of this cat, it should not be inside your home. This cat can jump up on counters, up up on places that you probably don't want them. So if you get a caracal cat in your house, they have a lot of hunting instincts, so they're gonna be damaging things. Being in places that you don't want them because of their strength, that allows them to go places that a normal house cat would not. So most people cannot handle this cat. The third reason is because this cat has strong hunting instincts. Being a wild cat, it's up to them to find their own food. So you bring that cat inside and they're gonna be looking for food. And guess what? There's not a lot inside your home unless there's things that you don't want them going after, which is other animals or you. So be careful bringing this cat into your home because they're looking for prey and they're gonna find it. They're gonna be knocking things over, looking for prey that could be cups, dishes, things inside your house. So if you're not careful, this cat can tear up your house and then start looking towards you. The next reason most people can't handle this cat is because of the cost. There are many cats inside shelters today that are free. This cat is an exotic cat that's bred and really traded out on a black market. So if you find this cat, it's gonna be a lot of money. When you can go out and find a normal house cat, that's not gonna tear up your house or you for free. So don't go looking for this cat unless you're ready to pay a lot of money for a cat that's gonna require a lot of attention and something that you're gonna have to keep a close eye on. The next reason most people can't handle this cat is because of its exercise requirements. A normal house cat can run around and burn off its own energy, but this cat, it'll take work from you. Because of their strong hunting instincts, they're gonna be constantly on the move and have a lot of energy to burn, both mental and physical. So it would be up to you as the owner to work this cat out, get them fake toys, do different things around the house with them. Otherwise, they've got a lot of pent up energy and you don't wanna see how that comes out in this oversized, aggressive cat. The next reason this cat is too much for most people is because it requires a specialized diet. Remember, this is a hunting cat. So just giving them kibble is probably not gonna work out. They're big, strong, and we're gonna require four times the regular food of a normal house cat. So this is gonna be expensive, and they also need some meat and some real food. Kibble is just not going to get it done. This is a wild, exotic animal that has special requirements, food being on the top of the list. So make sure if you go get this cat, you're ready to pay more for food, and it has to be good food in order for this cat to thrive. The next reason this cat might be too much for you is because of legal concerns. It depends in which state you live if you can even own this cat. So make sure you check on that because they're considered an exotic animal. Sometimes you can't even own these or you could get in some legal trouble. 
On top of that, you may have to pay fines or fees or HOA, depending on where you live, if you can even own this type of cat. Can you have an exotic, big, strong cat in your house? That's something you'll have to decide for yourself. This is an incredible cat that's not for everyone. Make sure you do your research before getting into this cat breed. We hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see all of you on the next one.